Boom, peace, intro. How's it going, guys? What y'all doing? Tuesday. Right on. Well, let me try to not take so long this time. I got them two other packages to open today. Um, one from our buddy Alex Graff, a.k.a. Bro Dirt Tay, and uh, Neil Fleischer. Fleischer. Um, he sent me an email. It said, whoa, that was the scary part. The very top of it, it's got a border, says Neil Fleischer, attorney at law. I ain't going to say the address. That's a little scary right there. Maybe I should, maybe I should, uh, watch how I say his name, huh? This could be bad news. But anyway, it says, uh, Dear James, you may read this letter on your channel if you find the die cast I mailed you, mailed to you to your satisfaction. These die casts are a gift to you. I had no idea they were coming. Appreciate it, Mr. Fleischer. 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 Well, he's probably going to sue me. Probably gonna, next letter I get is probably going to be a lawsuit for defamation or something defamation of name something like that but it says don't know how you do it all work custom builds the store send out customs family pig hunting run your channel it's amazing well thanks buddy but it says up here you're an attorney at law um that sounds like a lot of work in itself a lot of work for other people so yeah i'm sure that's quite the chore Probably pays better than what I'm doing. But anyway, I appreciate that. And it says, my favorite diecast channel is yours. And it's the only one I comment on. Dang, thanks, brother. Appreciate that. And please, I insist, don't send me any diecasts. Yeah. Give away a couple of diecasts to some kids you run into anywhere. And put a smile on their faces. And that way, you'll put a smile on ours, too. Cordially, Mr. Fleischer. In German, that means the meat butcher. The meat butcher. Man, that's what I ought to start calling him. Got this package in today from the meat butcher. The meat butcher. I'm looking for a man. He calls himself the meat butcher. You know, surely y'all seen, ah, that was butcher. I'm looking for the man. Calls himself Bucho. Desperado. Remember Desperado? That crazy movie. Crazy shooting. You know everybody watched it because of Salma Hayek. Everybody wanted to watch her across the street. That's why I watched that movie over and over again. Surely wasn't to see Antonio Banderas and his crazy shooting. Whoa, 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 whoa. He was dropping people left and right, wasn't he? Anyway, the meat butcher. Mr. Freischer. The meat butcher. Anyway, thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. And uh, he's got me a tracking number. So he has something in this package here behind me we're going to check out. Hopefully I don't get another letter, this time more legal, you might say. And also, guys, my last video, I asked you guys about opening these, putting uh, real riders on them, because I think they would look awesome with real riders. However, any of you guys watch me long enough know I just can't make myself open up these cars. I mean, I can't make myself open up a basic car. You know what I mean? I have to have multiples of them just to do that. And uh, these are like some special cars. I mean, they really are. If you look, I mean, look at that. Those two are 2013, new for 2013. So that's like first. I don't know if this one's a first also, but that's just, they're all awesome. And, you know, Grandpa Larry kept them in their blister all this time. So, it would be really hard for me to open these. I mean, honestly, guys, I'd have to have... I couldn't honestly say if I had three of them, I would open them. I mean, honestly, the ones that our buddy Kelly sent me, they wouldn't have real riders on them now, except he sent them to me open. If they were in a blister, I, probably, I wouldn't have opened them. I just wouldn't have. I opened the Guster. 
and I opened the uh, the holly because I had several of them, and that was thanks to you guys that sent them to me. The the three the three hollies I found forever. I already used two of them, so I did open them. I used them up for customs, and I only kept one. And uh, the gusters, I didn't open any of them until I used them for customs. So I just don't think I'd be able to do it, guys. And I shouldn't have really asked y'all all that, but I appreciate all your comments. And I haven't got back to the comments on that video yet, but I will. And uh, I did see some of them, though. But anyway, I got an email from our buddy Kelly. And I was so glad I didn't open these. Cause, but I don't think I would have anyway. Even though, uh, look, they, they need some real riders. But he's, he gave me direct orders. Do not open those cars until you check your mail. So I've got a package coming from him, apparently. I think it's supposed to be here Saturday. And I'm thinking there might be one or two or all three of these in there. Because he's been sending me some old gassers. And, and you know, him, Grandpa Larry, the, a lot of these guys, a lot of you guys, I think even probably Bruce Zolo, a lot of you collected long before me. So you got stuff that I just simply do not have. I don't have anything this old. I started collecting in 2018. And, uh... I think it was closer to the end of 2018, actually. And so all through 2019, 2020, and all through 2021, I've been collecting. Uh, before that, no. And uh, 20, 2019 was a lot of cases I bought. That's where a lot of my extras came from. And, I, and it was just to get cars that I wanted to make sure I could get. And that didn't even work out like I had thought it would. But uh, so anyway, sounds like he might be sending me some of these. That is so cool. I appreciate all you guys, man. That is really awesome. But also, I've seen in the comments, Rat Black said, don't open those. I have some already opened I can send to you. Awesome, dude. Thanks, buddy. But um, also, let me wait and see what Mr. Kelly's already sending me. And uh, I'll put real riders on those if they're open. If it's something else, then I'm, I'll try to get a hold of you and see if I can't give you something in trade or buy those cars from you if they're extras or something. Because I would really like to have the some of these sitting over there with some real riders on them but i just there's no way i'll be able to make myself open these guys so sorry for even asking you all that because a lot of you did say open them go on open them and so on and i don't blame you but i should know myself and i know i'm not going to do it i'm just not i'm not going to do it i just can't seem to make myself do it i don't know what it is either because i don't plan on getting rid of my cars Anyway, enough of that. Um, I also got that Willie's Jeep today. Um, I looked out and got that Willie's, the red one, because I got the green one. So I looked out and got the red one, but it was weird because I went on break. I went on break and it said, uh, I checked the email, you know, let's just make sure. And it said two hours because usually 11 o'clock for me is nine o'clock for them out there, which is perfect time. And I go to lunch at 11. I get right on there and I, I've had luck so far. Well, when I checked it, it said, you know, two hours, 11. But um, I I clicked on it and went to the website. And the website said an hour. So I was like, oh, whoa, what's going on? This thing's going to be for sale at 10 o'clock. So I let our buddy Jono over at uh, Diecast Works. He likes to get them too. I let him know, hey, this thing says an hour, man. So he's like, oh, wow, we better check. So we checked it out. And sure enough, at 10 o'clock, it counted down to zero. Never went to buy, though. Never allowed you to buy it. So I think they must have just had something not set up with the time change or something. So I went back at 11 and waited. And then when it was 11, I had like three seconds to go. It counted down. It went to buy, uh, where it's supposed to go to buy. Immediately said sold out. And uh, I'm at work at that time. And my weld supply guy's there. You know, because I would need some wire, some welding rod, filler rod stuff. And a couple torch heads and a... Uh, I'm like, just wait a minute, just chill out, man. I got to get this car. Just wait a minute. Just chill out. He's like, what are you talking about? I'm like, man, I got to get this car. I got to try to get this car. Let me see. I want to see what you're doing, man. So he's watching and he's like, well, what's the big deal? I was like, man, this thing will sell out in seconds, dude. Oh, whatever, whatever. And uh, I was like, no, seriously. And so anyway, boom, sold out. He's like, no way. And I was like, yeah, dude, that's, that sucks, man. Then I remembered last time I had to leave and come back. So I tried it real quick. I exited, closed out the, uh, closed out the, the whole app or whatever, and then re went back to it, and boom, there was the buy thing. So I hit it, and luckily I got one. And uh, 
I don't know if they sold out fast or not. I wanted one. I got one. And that was the end of it. But I wanted the red one because it goes with the green one. And I like those two vehicles. Those were awesome. But anyway, so then I checked with my buddy Jono and he got his too. So right on. We scored. Good deal. But uh, anyway, just that thing's just kind of tricky. I'm, I, I'm glad I didn't just go for the oh, sold out and close it up and leave because I wouldn't have got one. So anyway, let's get to some of these packages. And looks like Mr. Felicia. The Meat Butcher is on top. We're going to have to start calling him the Meat Butcher. How to change his name. Yeah, I see him in my comments. I see him in my comments. Should change that thing to the Meat Butcher. The Meat Butcher. So let's bust this. So I had no idea what's coming here, guys. Um, He didn't even tell me. If, I do not believe he said anything about sending me anything. So I have no idea. Um... But let's see what it is. And, you know, he said, to, you know, read that letter if I like what he sent me. Well, I like whatever you guys send me, man. It doesn't really matter. And, I mean, you must have sent it to me for something. So, let's just check and see what all we got in this baby. Um, like I said, a lot of you guys have been collecting way before me. So, you got stuff that I've never seen. Oh, that's cool. The Red Bull Land Rover Defender. Check that out. Sweet. Mini GT. I do have a lot of Mini GT also. Cool. That's awesome, buddy. Don't know. I don't know what made you send me this stuff, but that's cool. Appreciate that one of three thousand. It seems like I remember this, but I'm not sure because they get so many of them that kind of look the same if you don't watch it. And I got some. Oh, those over there were Johnny Lightning. This was a Mini GT. Yeah, I'm not even sure when this one came out. But anyway, pretty cool, guys. If I can get the glare off of it. Red Bull. Right on. Thanks, buddy. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, this one's awesome, too, man. Check it out. The Gulf Defender Mini GT. With nice details. Look at that. Now, that thing is awesome. They both are, but, I mean, one you could just see. Because this one's all blacked out. It's hard to see all the little details. That one, you can see all the details. All the luggage. That's awesome. Right on. Yeah, I don't like baby blue, but I like the Golf series. And they're baby blue. And that's weird that I don't... I guess I shouldn't say I don't like baby blue. It's just not a preferred color. But it's perfect for Golf. That's what Golf always is. I mean, my channel logo is the baby blue... Um, car for, from uh, you know Ford versus Ferrari, the Golf car, basically. Yeah, that's sweet, guys. Check that out. Awesome. Appreciate that, Mister Meat Butcher. Meat Butcher. Yeah, I just want this. I definitely want to keep this bubble wrap. I always keep the rubber wrap. Uh, I want to make sure I go through this paper because uh, you never know, but. There's already plenty in there. That was cool. Thanks, buddy. Had no idea you were sending me those two things. That was awesome. I really appreciate it. And uh, I had no idea those were coming. But that is cool. Man, thanks again, buddy. Mr. Felicia. The Meat Butcher. The Meat Butcher. All right, now we got something here from our buddy, Mr. Alex Graff. Oh, I knew it. I knew I recognized this. It looked like a welding wire box. O2, this is 030. Okay. My little welder. I got 035 in my bigger one and 023 in my smaller one. 030 works really good, though. Right on. Lincoln Electric. 
mild steel. Yep. Nice, nice. Let's see, I don't I didn't know this was coming either. If I do, I don't recall it. Um actually, you know, a while back he said he was gonna send me some of those Chevy trucks too. Maybe that's what he's got in here, some of them Chevy trucks or something. Let's just see. Looks like he's got a piece of paper here. Yep. Oh, and uh, I left all the lovey-dovey kisses and hugs stuff out of that letter that the meat butcher sent me. I didn't want y'all to hear all that sensitive love stuff because it just it didn't go right with somebody called the meat butcher. So I may spare Mr. Alex Graff too, but we'll see how bad it is. He can get really sensitive at times with his X's and O's little hearts with arrows through them and stuff. I try not to say much about it though. Anyway, James, this box contains some tuna. Hey, I, I, eat, I eat albacore. I mean, I eat some tuna sometimes. My wife got it, but I like the albacore. I don't know why, just straight out the can. I put some salt and pepper on it and just eat it with a fork. I don't, I don't put anything on it, mayo, nothing. <laughs> People think I'm crazy, but I'm like, man, it tastes good. It tastes good that way. Tuna, wheels and water slides from, uh, I thought that was funny too, hhwcustoms.com. I was like, Hugh, it's Hot Wheels? But no, it's just another deal. Some candidates for your customization as well as one of my cars from my Midnight Edition. Fleet of cars I painted black, Magic Pearl. I left it unglued in case you wanted to screw it back together instead. I plan to learn how to screw cars in the future future and future customs you should do it buddy i i said in the beginning you know hey man i'm just gonna glue them guys but after i had a couple come apart that i sent to people i was so upset about that i mean super birds came apart um a buddy diecast clown had one come apart i was like you know what old man diecast is right screw that sucker together i believe it was eddie from simple customs told me the same thing you need to screw that thing they're right they're right. But, you know, I've also had some people send me some that they JB welded and they didn't come apart. I JB welded one one time and it came apart, but I noticed I did not get it down in there like I should have. But anyway, you'll like it once you start screwing it. And, uh, you are appreciating this community, brother. Thanks for keeping it real with all of us. And... Oh, see, here's the part I can't read no more. I can't read the rest of that lovey-dovey stuff. You know, dreams at night. And we'll leave all that alone. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Here's the tuna. I do not know what's in there. But it is... It's really strange. That's really strange. We'll pull that out and set that right there for now. Then we got some more stuff here. Oh, he sent me some Momo wagons too. Check it out. Man, I'm going to be up on the Momo wagons now. Holy cow. Let's see what we got going on here. Sure enough, got some more Pictionaries. Ooh, that's, that's that custom. Ooh. Got to be that custom, I ain't. Oh, I'm liking that, buddy. Oh, yeah, I'm going to stick that over there. We'll look at that in a minute. That looks good. Oh, some Pictionaries. It's all right. They're custom guys. Don't worry about it. And uh, they're for Pro Stock Camaros, um, which I was going to do some more of those, but maybe a little different. They don't all have to be the same. And... Uh, Oh, cool. Another Guster. Another Guster Gasser. Another Chevy truck. Another Chevy truck. Right on. Jerry Rigged. Looks like he's sending me a little bit of everything. Yeah, I knew he said he had a Chevy truck or two, but I didn't know about all that other stuff. Yep, there's another Chevy truck. And there's another Wagon Gasser. 
week. I thought about I thought about doing a one of them wagon gassers. I was gonna pick a different color, but thought about doing one of the Day of the Dead. Day of the Dead logos on it, because I just thought it would look cool. I don't know, you guys tell me what you think. I may do it anyway, but and the reason I say that is because the top decal is long. It won't fit on just something regular. It's got to be on a wagon. But uh, right on, brother. Appreciate that. A couple more Chevy trucks, a Guster, a Momo, two 64 wagons, and two Pictionaries. We ain't got to the tuna yet. We'll see what's in there. I'm not really positive what's in there. But then we got this custom, which... I'm taking out of this blister, buddy. Whew. All right. Check it out, guys. Oh, he already told me he left it loose. Hey, what's it falling apart for, man? Oh. Now he told me he left it loose, and here I go and move it. All right, you know what's really weird is, check it out. See how it really looks cool and all? Those aren't even real riders. Those are just the plastic wheels. And see how good it looks? He didn't even have to put real riders on it for it to look good. I mean, I think that looks cool. Nice, plain. He didn't even do any uh, detail work. He just put a good little paint job on it. Nice black. I mean, he had to have done the kind because I've never seen this truck of this color. And I can see where he drilled it out, so he had to have painted that. Put the wheels back on it. Sure enough. Sweet. This must be one of his midnight jobs he was talking about. Right on. Yeah, it looks good with those regular wheels on it. Sweet. Check it out, guys. I don't know if I'll glue it or screw it or not, buddy. I may just um, leave it like it is. Yeah, I may just leave it like it is. Anyway, right on, brother. Thanks. Now I don't know what this is. Tuna. Don't know. Let's see what he's got in there, guys. A little bit scary. That is a little bit scary. Definitely. You know what? It's kind of feeling like it might really be tuna. Got another in a minute. It is different. Cool. I got another Alex. Got another Wolfberg collective. But it's it's that. It's that reflective kind. I don't have that kind. Definitely gonna have to stick that on there. Go find me a spot for that. Man, let me see. This is kind of really feeling like a can of tuna. <laughs> it is. It really is. And it's albacore. I'll be darned. Look at that. It really is. And I do I do the solid white. They got chunk white. Eh, it's not as good as the solid white. It's okay, but sometimes you'll find a piece of bone in there or something. I'll be darned. In water, not oil. Got to get it in water, guys. I can't believe that. He really sent me a can of tuna. Well, you can bet I'm going to bust that open, put salt and pepper on it, and I'm going to eat it right out of the can. Right on, brother. Thanks. I eat one of those every day for lunch. That one will be lunch. Oh, whoa. Check those out. Dang, buddy. Those are awesome. I'll have to check that guy out. wonder how much them wheels are. See, and you told me about him before, and I meant to go to his channel, and I haven't went there yet. Go ahead and show you guys. I'm sure Mr. Graff don't mind. He 
He gave me one of his cards. HH Customs, or HHW Customs, Hewitt's Hot Wheel Customs. Not really, that's not what that says. That's HH, just a coincidence. But he's got me some decals in here. Looks like he gave me a license plate. Gave me front grills to Chevy trucks. I've seen those online before, but I never bought any. I don't know, I might try it sometime, but I don't really know if I would or not. Then he sent me some of these. Oh, I know what those are. I've seen those, but I didn't know if they what they really looked like, so I didn't buy any. Now I'll know what they look like. Let me check that out. Sent me some of those. And here's some wheels. I did see these on online, but I didn't know if, if they were going to be worth what they wanted for them. So I didn't buy any. And that's them. Yep, I could tell by the front wheel. But check it out. Hoosers. With the riding. And then the front wheels. I have seen them on there, and it was, he gave me three sets, and that's what I've seen them on there come as. Oh, these are different. They're not all the same. Check it out. These are Goodyear, like a saw blade style. I didn't actually see those. I've seen them first ones. Those are cool. All right, yeah, so he sent me two, like, no, these are different, too. Oh, now, now I got to backtrack because it wasn't those. It was these six points. These are the ones I've seen online. And I wasn't sure if uh, they were worth it. They were, oh my gosh, three sets were, I can't remember, but it was like $22, I think, maybe 18 Somewhere around there, which, you know, about six bucks a set, I guess. But yeah, now that I could see them, I could tell by the picture I liked the rear tires, but I wasn't sure about the front. But yeah, now that I see them, shoot, they're fine. Those will have to go on some gassers. And you know what, buddy? I don't really have a supply of those. So... What may happen to those is if uh, my buddy Kelly really is sending me some of those cars, I may throw them on those three cars. It just might right on. Of course, I don't want to change your custom, but I could tub that baby up right inside there. Oof. Put some meat on that sucker. But that's okay. Right on, buddy, and it's three different kinds. Three different kinds. I'll have to make sure I recall that. Right on. <coughs> Thanks, buddy. Don't know, um... Those couldn't have been cheap. You sure? You, you, I mean, you could have used those for yourself. But I appreciate it. I love those Hooser tires. That's a and the Goodyear. Um, that was one of the main things that caught my eye when I seen them on uh, online. But I can't remember the price. There was something. You know, something steered me away from them. But I know I was worried about the front tires. I wasn't sure by the picture if they were okay. But they seem okay. They don't seem bad. Right on. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate that. Again, I don't know what you sent me all that stuff for, but I appreciate it. And... Um, I'm sure you appreciate me not reading all that last bit of stuff you put on there. I'll try to keep that on the down low. All right. Thanks, guys. I appreciate it. Thanks, Alex. I appreciate all them, uh, I should say, bro-dirte. I appreciate all those uh, 
wheels, extra cars for customs and everything. That's awesome. Um, and thank you, Mr. Meat Butcher. I appreciate those. I did not have any idea those were coming either. So uh, that's always a good surprise. And as soon as I get our package in from Kelly, I will let you guys know just what he sent me. I don't know, but I know he told me he ordered me. Gave me specific orders. Do not open those cars. So, there must be something up. But even if not, I, I can't make myself do it, guys. I just can't do it. I don't know why. I don't know why it's so hard for me to do that. But anyway, if, if all else fails, I'll reach out and ask Rat Black what he wants for the three. And, uh, and I'll get them and put some real riders on them. Put them on my open gasser collection over there. But I'll let you know what comes in, and I'll show it to you then, guys. So again, thank you, everybody. And I will get back over to the last video and respond to everybody's comment, because I did not get a chance to respond to them yet. So thanks again, guys. Appreciate it. Y'all take care. Peace. Outro.